Hi guys, I know it's been a while but I thought I'd pop in and say hello. I know I haven't done a video for a while but uh, with Debbie's health things have been a bit on the difficult side. But uh, Today I thought I'd do something a bit different. Um, like a lot of you know I'm on a very tight budget and find getting things difficult. So we all know how important PPE and health and safety is, dust extraction and things like that. So I thought I'd do a little video showing how I got around the problem. There's no way I can afford things like a cam vac, you know, a couple of hundred quid or the record power dust extraction systems, things like that. So I hit the old eBay and I thought I'd show you what I managed to get. Uh, it's not brilliant but as you know I've only got a small shop um, I'm adding to it slowly trying to upgrade I've just bought a decent hood for my hoses to help with the extraction system from um, Rutlands um, I haven't set it up yet but I can show you that in a minute so here it goes I hope you find it interesting I'll try and be as quick as I can. Well, that is the hose that I got from Rutlands. It is connected to a piece of tumble dryer hose, which is then connected to an adapter, which I got off eBay for two pound, I think it was. And then it goes into my little hoover system which is yes I know it's only a small pipe but it does the job so anyway that goes around there behind my, my lathe goes underneath my lathe into my cheap version of a cyclone it's the Triton dust collector and you know, as you can see, it's nice and compact, it's out of the way, and believe you me, it does a really good job. This is connected up to a Hoover, which I also got from eBay for, I think it's about 30 quid, but it's wet and dry, it's powerful, it's a 1600 watt motor in it, which I've been told equates to about a two horsepower. So yes, it's got plenty of oomph. So just to show you, I'll turn it on. Sorry for the noise. Oh, it saves a little bit of dust. And you can see. Pretty easily. Clean things up. That's the business end. Oh, you follow me to your shed. Sorry it's a bit noisy. But in there is my vacuum. I'm just going to turn it off. It's a bit too noisy. Oh, that's better. This has been in situ for, ooh, must be a year now, and I've never looked inside. So we shall see just how good that extractor is. And as you can see, oh, paper bags are useless, but that, as you can see, there's hardly anything in there. And in the bottom there, because of the broken bag, I don't know if you can make that out. But that is all that's in there. So, you could say, 
it's doing a damn good job. So I'll put it back together again now. Uh, that goes on there. Put it down, that side and that side. The beauty of this one, it's also got a power takeoff. So if you have something like this in your workshop, you can plug your tool into it, turn that switch to that way and you're powered up. So let's shove that back in there. And oh dear, close it up again. He says, all right, I know it's awkward, but it does the job. Oh dear. The next thing is a problem with airborne dust. The fine, very fine particles that you get, you always get floating around the air when you're sanding that doesn't get picked up by this. So I thought, okay, what, well, well, yeah, I can't afford, I haven't got the headroom for a start for one of those big dust collection things. So I thought, oh, how am I going to do that? So I looked on free cycle of all things. And I came up with this. Yes, it's bulky. And yes, it's a bit daft the way I've got it. I'll put you over there. So. But I stick it up here. When I'm sanding, it's not that obtrusive. Yes, I have to duck if I'm going out of the out of the shed, but when it's working, you'd be surprised how much the fan picks up. So here it goes. Where is it? It's that one. Right. It's got like a, I've cut a couple of gates to allow more dust out. And there's a like a grid on the front that spins. So it sort of forms a cyclone effect. And just to show how much air it gets or sucks out here whoop, hang on, wait till it finishes is a piece of kitchen towel and as you can see it's not really moving so I'll turn the fan back on and as you can see From right up here, it's being sucked over my lathe. It's being sucked to where my work is. It's still being sucked quite powerfully. So that, after I've, after I've finished sanding, I go out, leave that running for half an hour at the most, come back in and there's no dust in the air. So, Yes, it works. Costs me nothing, thanks to FreeCycle. It's quite powerful. It's very quiet, as you can hear. But uh, admittedly, the noise goes up when I put the extract, the other extractor on. But it does the job. So anyway, thought I'd show you. Oops, the daisy. Sorry, didn't mean to drop you. I've got a few more stickers. Here's my latest from Mark. So, if any of you watching fancy doing a sticker swap with yours truly, I would happily do that. Um, finally, I'd like to thank you all for all the good wishes that you sent for Debbie with her bad accident. It's been much appreciated by the both of us. Just goes to show what a fantastic community the wood turners, is, turners are. I apologize for not being in many lives, but things are a bit awkward at the moment with Debbie laid up. And we tend to watch 
programs that we both like watching on the telly at night time. But I try to get into daytime ones when I'm in, when, when I can. So that's it for tonight. Thanks very much for watching. Hope I didn't bore you too much. And I hope for people on a tight budget like me, it helps. Take care everyone. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta for now.